same violence as another kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Well, family and friends gathered to remember an eight year old girl killed by gun violence in Belle Glade, who family have identified as Ranzaya Adkins. Family says the shooting happened outside that girl's home in the 500 block of Southeast First Street around 715 last night. Man. It reminds me of Aubrey Anthony and Augusta. Eight year old girls getting killed. Eight year old black girls. OK, this is a real thing. <laughs> this is the real pandemic. It's not being spoken on. When are we actually going to ap apply pressure to these super gremlins out here who are doing these things? Police have not shared any suspect information. Tonight, our Steve King was at that home where people choked close to Ronzaya honored her the day after she was shot and killed while playing outside. A heartbreaking night here in Belle Glade as a group of people, including many children, are forced to say goodbye to their friend and family member, eight-year-old Ronzaya Atkins, who was shot and killed here in front of her home. Man, I know y'all can hear that. I know y'all can feel that. Those are real tears, real emotions. How many families, how many communities have to go through this before we all come together and say, hey, we ain't standing for this? Because we have not as a collective come together and said that. Seriously. A family in mourning, devastated that the child who was playing on her front porch just a day earlier is now gone. Heartbroken, pain. She my last baby sister. She was only just a little kid. She fell right here. It just, all the breath went out of her. And it's a shame. This is a tragedy. Family members say when the gunman opened fire, Ronzaya, who also went by the name Biggs and Zaya, was playing outside with her siblings and cousins. Mm. Her godbrother Deontay was outside as well and tried to hurry everyone inside when the shots rang out. During that chaos, he says he heard Ronzaya being a hero before getting shot, helping save her family from the gunfire. She was telling her niece to go inside. Don't worry about her, just go inside. Wow. Wow. Another balloon release. Y'all know how I feel about these balloon releases, but I'm not going to take their moment away. But what a brave girl. Was outside as well and tried to hurry everyone inside when the shots rang out. During that chaos, he says he heard Ronzaya being a hero before getting shot, helping save her family from the gunfire. She was telling her niece to go inside. Don't worry about her, just go inside. Mm. We love you, bitch. As her family and friends remembered her, they also thought about the sweet person Biggs was, a girl who loved dancing and spending time with her loved ones. She just was a sweet baby. She just was lovable. And now they're hoping someone who knows what happened will come forward and tell law enforcement what they know about the person responsible for killing Ronzaya. Will y'all please... Go to the police station. And I know who was responsible. And I know somebody else who knew who was responsible. So we're going to, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. And we're going to see exactly who these people are who did this and their associates who did this to this baby girl. And, t and, and tell, and tell the truth. 
because this innocent child did not have nothing to do with nothing. I guess we just got to wait till we have justice. Wait till we have justice. And I know this brother is, you know, LGBT and whatnot. So he, you know, he, 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 he doesn't really give off a commanding demeanor, if you will. Uh, no disrespect to the brother at all, but no, we don't wait till we have justice. Yo, you're, you need to demand justice. You can't stand for anything but justice, for finding out who did this. Nobody's sleeping. No, like, we need to have a fire under our belly. Like, is this, like, Biggs would have wanted you to fight for her, man. I can't with this passive, you know, no. We need to go hard for this. We need to be beating down doors putting up signs, figuring out who did this. And the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office is offering a $25,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest of whoever killed Ronzaya. Reporting in Bell Glade, Steve King, WPBF 25. Deputies making an arrest in connection to a deadly drive-by shooting that happened in Bell Glade. 20-year-old Andrew Thomas is accused of fatally shooting an eight-year-old little girl. So you see he got the the dreads, the Zoe type dreads, the freeform dreads, neck tatted like crazy. I mean, obvious indicators of demon time. Obvious indicators of demon time. He's facing several charges, including first degree murder. He's being held without bond. Police say they responded to the shooting on Friday at Southeast First Street. That's where they found that little girl with a gunshot wound. She was taken to a hospital and later died from her injuries. Oh. Police have arrested a man they say is responsible for a drive by shooting that left an eight year old girl dead. This happened Friday night right outside the little girl's home in Belle Glade. WPTV News Channel 5's Camera Eppinger has the new information. Well, for the first time, we're hearing from that little girl's mother, and although an arrest has been made, she and her family are still on a desperate search for answers. She was just my baby. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and I'm telling you guys, these dudes will put in their songs, we made they mama cry, we made they mama do this. We made them do a balloon release. I'm telling you, these super gremlins, they have no soul. Overcome with emotion, Jamika McGee reflects on the life of her eight-year-old daughter. She was funny. She, she just was like a baby doll. She just wanted to play with the other kids. Friday night, little Ron Zaya Atkins was shot in a drive-by right outside of her home along Southeast 1st Street in Belle Glade. It's like a feeling that you can't explain. It's like a, it's like a dark feeling. Police say the man who pulled the trigger is 20-year-old Andrew James Thomas. He's been charged with first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. And you heard what she said. She said it, it, the pain is, is like a dark feeling. That's the demon time feeling, okay? That's the presence of the super gremlin on demon time. And that's what she's feeling. Obviously, the loss of her daughter. It's crazy, man. It, it, and by way of a drive-by shooting from a super gremlin on Demon Time. It's just unimaginable. He was arrested today with the help of a witness and investigators in Coral Springs. I'm happy that they did arrest somebody. They don't change the fact of anything, but I guess I'm okay with it. Police say Rob. Dang, man. It, it's like we expect this to happen, you know? Like her demeanor is just so odd to me um, in that last clip, you know? Or maybe... Me personally, I would just be a little more angry. <laughs> Ron Zaya wasn't the intended target, but was shot at least once while she was playing outside with family members. She was airlifted to the hospital where she later died. She attended Gove Elementary, where the school district says they'll be bringing in extra grief counselors all week and a therapy dog for students. I have my sisters and my cousins and like all my family that really with me, so it make it a lot easier, but it's really, really hard. That's good, man. That's good. At least they supporting, but oh my God. 
Now at this hour, police are still investigating a motive for the shooting. As for the suspect, we know that he's being currently booked into the Broward County Jail and will soon be transported here to Palm Beach County. For now, reporting in Belglade, I'm Kimara Leppinger. Back to you. In Broward County Court Tuesday, murder suspect Andrew Thomas asked the judge why he was being charged as a felon with possession of a firearm. How I have a possession of a firearm charge if a firearm was never found on me? According to... <laughs> Bro, you killed an eight-year-old girl. You're a super gremlin on demon time. They got you. Dead to rights. You're done. Now he's complaining to the judge through a Zoom call. <laughs> How do I have possession of a firearm when y'all never found a firearm on me? <laughs> Idiot. To the arrest affidavit when SWAT agents raided the Coral Springs home of TikTok stars The Island Boys, Thomas was seen running. Oh, Island Boys. Talk about the Island Boys. So these dudes are associated with a man who killed an eight-year-old girl. I mean, let me know in the comment section if I'm tweaking, but these dudes are pieces of crap too. These, these mayo gremlins, I, I don't know what they are. Burrito gremlins, <laughs> have no clue. But this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the enabling. You hanging out with a dude and, and honestly. You know, could they have not known? I don't know. But to me, it's like. There's no way you couldn't have known something like that, honestly. Like, it's crazy. Boys, Thomas was seen running from room to room and grabbed a black Glock handgun with an extended magazine from the living room. Agents. So they didn't catch you with the with the strap, bruh? Say Alex Venegas told them Thomas tried to get him to hide the gun. When Alex refused, Thomas ran into the laundry room, which. Oh, he snitched. He snitched. He snitched. Hold on. Street code, street justice. He snitched, bro. <laughs> he snitched. The island boys are snitches, bro. Am I the only one who noticed that? So what happens now? They're just like Takashi 69 at this point. They gave a statement. They they didn't do no comment them thomas tried to get him to hide the gun when alex refused thomas ran into the laundry room which is where agents say they found the firearm inside a closet wait what ma'am i can't hear you thomas was wanted by palm beach county sheriff's deputies on charges of murder in the drive-by shooting of eight-year-old ronziah atkins in bell glade last friday fry him they tracked him to the island boys house early monday Alex Venegas told me on Monday Thomas was a childhood friend who he saute that super gremlin. Thomas was a childhood friend who he let crash at the house sometimes, but said he didn't know Thomas was allegedly involved in a horrific crime. He's literally snitching. <laughs> Bruh just snitch. I mean, cool, man. This is what I'm talking about. The 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 culture is hypocritical. The street code is hypocritical. All the gang stuff is hypocritical. Everything. It's just, it doesn't even, it amounts to nothing at the end of the day. It amounts to endless, senseless killings of women and children. I was sad. I cried. Drew's a good kid. He really is. If this is all true, I'll be honest with you. I really think all he needed was some guidance. What? What? Some guidance? Nah, nah. Nope. Nope, Alex Vang Venegas. So he is a burrito gremlin. No, 
He needs the electric chair. He needs some guidance into the electric the electric chair. He needs lethal injection. I was sad. I He needs a firing squad. Sorry. Cried. Drew's a good kid. He really is. If this is all true, I'll be honest with you. I really think all he needed was some guidance. The judge set a $25,000 bond on the Broward County charges of possession of a firearm and violation of probation, saying Thomas will face the murder charge when he is transported back to Palm Beach County. Oh, he needed some guidance. The probation, the probation program, these probation programs are really st like they really work to rehabilitate you. Honestly, they try and get you to stay employed. They, they try and get you to do other programs and services that they provide so if he needed some guidance he should have asked his po for some guidance not go kill an eight-year-old girl fry him okay so i have an out of county warrant for palm beach that's correct sir and we do not know when he will be transported back here. He was on probation for an armed robbery in 2019 and his last. Yeah, he he's a little bit past guidance. This address is in Royal Palm Beach here in Palm Beach County. His mother, according to records, used to live in Belle Glade where little Ronziah was shot down. Terry Parker, WPBF 25.